Welcome to day three of CRM Analytics Basics course. You have come such a long way. In the past couple of days, you have installed your first Salesforce instance and you've installed your first Salesforce CRM Analytics app. Great job. Today, you will create your first data set. But before you create your first data set, we'll cover a couple of important concepts. The concepts that you're going to learn today are table, dimensions, measures, and dates. Tables consist of rows that go horizontally like this and columns that go vertically, top to bottom. Here I have a celebrity table with a list of actors, their age, country, gender, date of birth, and number of movies they have acted in. Each row in this table is data. It gives you information about a specific actor. Now let's understand the concept of dimensions, measures and dates. Dates are pretty straightforward. They are dates such as birth dates, shipping dates, order dates and so on. Dimensions are text information that allows you to group information. For example, when you look at this table, you see that there are three males and two females. Similarly, when you look at this table, you know that there are two actors from US, one actor from UK, one actor from India and one actor from Australia. Numerical information is called measures. It is because you are measuring something. For example, the average age of all actors is 68.8. The total number of movies these actors have acted in is 547. And the total number of rows in this particular table is 5. Now that you understand the concepts of table, dates, dimensions and measures, how about you create your very first data set in CRM Analytics. Let's go. The data set will be found in the data sets folder of the Google Drive link. The link can also be found in the description of this video. Simply click on this file and then Select this arrow to download the file onto your machine. After the file is downloaded onto your machine, log in to your Salesforce instance and come to Analytics Studio. Inside Analytics Studio, you want to click on Create. So click on Create and this time, instead of App, you will click on Dataset. Today, we are going to start working with CSV file. We are not going to start with Salesforce data or external data at this point. So let's click on CSV file. And now you can simply drag and drop the file here. Now you can click on next and you can again click on next and here you go. You can now quickly preview the data before creating your data set. So let's take a look at the data set. You have your order IDs, you have your order dates. This is your date column, your ship date, your ship mode. You also have your customer ID, your customer name, your segment, the city, state, postal code, uh, your product ID. You also have different categories of products such as furniture, office supplies, technology. You also have subcategories. So for example, bookcases uh, under furniture uh, and you have the sales price. Okay, This is going to be your measures. You see how many quantities were ordered by the customer, if there was any discount applied and what was the profit that was made by selling that particular product. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply click on upload file. After the data set is created, a new tab will open up. If this new tab does not open up, simply search this sample superstore like this in the Analytics Studio homepage. Now when you click on it, this particular section opens up and this is called your lens. Now here you can create different kinds of charts and that will be covered as part of day 4. Congratulations, you created your first data set and now you are ready to start exploring your data by creating some amazing charts. Tomorrow we are going to spend a lot of time creating different kinds of charts like pie charts, bar charts, stack charts. We'll apply conditional formatting and have some fun with charts. So look forward to tomorrow's session. 
If you completed today's session, make sure to take a picture and upload it on all social media platforms like LinkedIn, Instagram, and do not forget to tag me. If you are enjoying this course, make sure to tell your friends, ask them to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. All my social links will be posted as part of the description. Thanks.